Hey everybody, International Master David Proust here for Chess.com and today we're just going to go over a really important special move in chess. There aren't too many of these. Um, there is En Passant, which is a special way to capture with pawns. Another video covers that. And there is Castling, which is really a very, very valuable move. So good to know, which is a way that you can sort of reverse the position of your king and your rook. So Castling is useful because usually your king will be in some danger in the center of the board and your rooks will be somewhat useless outside of the center of the board. So you'll want to sort of reverse that situation. You're allowed to make this move only if there's no piece in between your king and rook. And you can do it towards the king side or towards the queen side. Now, the basic rule for castling is you move your king two steps towards the rook and put the rook on the other side of your king. So, for example we would move this king to g1 and then the rook jumps to f1. Or, if we do it in the other direction, again, you move two spaces, even though you won't end up at the same spot, and the rook hops to the other side of the king. Always the rook ends up next to your king. Okay, so black will also castle queenside, moves his king two steps, and the rook comes to the other side of his king. Okay, so that's the basic rule of castling. That's what it looks like when you castle. Now, there are a couple side rules to realize. In addition to not having anything in between your king and rook, you need to not violate certain rules about check, which is when your king is attacked, okay? So let's say that black played this checking move with the queen. White is not allowed to castle when their king is in check. So this is not a legal way to escape from check, to move your king two spaces to g1 you would now have to move your king to avoid this check. Okay. Now, second rule about castling. You cannot castle through check. So since black controls the f1 square, white is not allowed to castle kingside here, though he could castle queenside. And the final rule is that you can't castle onto a square where you would be in check. So here the black queen has moved, so she's covering c1. That means white cannot castle queenside. That would be illegal to put your king in check. Okay, so three rules for when you cannot castle. You can't castle when you are in check. You can't castle through check. And you can't castle into check. Okay? And, <laughs> sorry, but there's more. You are not allowed to castle if you've already moved your king or your rook. So remember when black checked the white king, this would actually, in this case, since white can't block or capture the queen, this would prevent white from ever castling. Because now the white king has moved, so he's no longer allowed to castle. So black checks the white king again, the white king moves, and now black castles to get their rooks into the game. Now is white allowed to castle either side? The answer is no, because the king has already moved. All right, now here's another example. Let's go back to the beginning here. I'll play h3 for white. Black plays queen takes b2, attacking this rook, and I move the rook to save it. Now black castles. Am I allowed to castle kingside now, even though I've moved this rook? I can, because this is not the rook that I'm castling with, so I can castle kingside. But let's say instead of castling, Black had retreated his queen, and I moved my rook back here, and now black castled. Would I be allowed to castle queenside? Absolutely not, because this rook has moved. Okay, so I can't castle queenside, but I can castle kingside. But one restriction which does not apply, just to be clear, is this. If black plays this move, attacking the rook, is white allowed to castle queenside? This is from my starting position. So the king hasn't moved. The king is not in check, the rook hasn't moved, the rook is attacked. The answer is I can castle queenside, see, because I never put my king on a square that was attacked by the black queen. So it is legal to castle when your rook is attacked, but not once you've moved your rook. And those are the rules for castling. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you around on chess.com.